Do you leave your job willingly or are you fired? So <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a mixture of both. So I'm at my job and I write this script while I'm at my job. We submit the script to Sundance. Just like, hey, let's submit it. Let's see if it goes through. It gets picked up by Sundance, the screenwriter's lab. And this is when they send you to Park City and you get all of these great mentors. So to give you an example, like some of my mentors in this, in this program were, was like Quentin Tarantino um, and people like that, Michael Goldenberg, Casey Lemons, like big time directors and, and people in the Hollywood industry that personally look at your script, read your script and talk to you personally to help you revise your script. So this experience not only opened my eyes right to a whole new world, but it was it was a life changing experience because getting into this just getting into the Sundance Lab is harder than getting into Harvard statistics wise, right? Really? And um, so yeah, so it was very uh, an eye opening experience, but also a huge confirmation that I was on the right track, right? Because you know the first script and went to Sundance, so. Um, I had to leave for the Park City um, Sundance boot camp during tax season, you know what I mean, which was the time when my boss needed me the most. But I got out of there because I was like, this is my dream, of course. I would never sacrifice my dream for this job that wasn't going anywhere. Um, and so I I went and I remember halfway through um, my program there, he called me and he said, if you don't come back now, then I'm going to fire you because you left um, without, I didn't really, I asked him, he didn't give, he wouldn't give me an answer. And so when it was time to go, I just got up and went. Um, and so, you know, he was mad about a lot of things, but he told me that I had to get on a plane and come back right then and there that day, mm -hmm. or I had to quit or no, or I would be fired. That's what he said, or I would be fired. So at that moment I said, Hmm, <laughs> you know what I mean? I was <laughs> like, well, I, I was like, I quit then. Um, cause there's no way that I'm leaving this opportunity. And, um, it was after I hung up the phone that I literally, it hit me that not only did I quit my job and don't have a source of income, but I was in the red already in my account at that time. <laughs> so it was really bad for me. And, you know, it was, it was, like I said, all these divine, there's so many divine redirections in my life and divine confirmations that um, are, are just littered all throughout my story. Because right then I was supposed to get on stage, right? It was like, it was a screenwriter's lab. Hold on, you Everybody was, this conversation happened right before you were supposed to go on stage? It, that, that is exactly when it happened. <laughs> I was supposed to go on, I promise you that. Like, I, I mean, I promise you, they, um, my boss called me five minutes before I was supposed to go on stage. So I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, you know, I just quit my job. Like everything is going through my head and I have to get on stage. But what happened was I got on stage to recite a poem about my parents. So I was already emotional, but it wasn't about that at the time. I, I don't think I would have gotten emotional during the poem if it wasn't for me getting that call. So I get on stage, everybody's there. Quentin Tarantino, uh, Michelle Satter, everybody's in the audience. And I'm crying as I'm saying this poem because life, it just to me was a reminder that I had gone through a hard life you know what I mean? <laughs> when I grew up. And then this was again, another hard situation. And I was just, you know, in tears. And as soon as I walked off the stage, I, I walked to the back and people were literally giving me a standing ovation. Oh. And it was then that Michelle Satters came up to me and said, you know what? I'm going to give you a grant to write. I'm going to give you a grant of $5,000 so that you can just focus on writing. And I was like, what? Hold on. You got a grant. Did it have anything to do with your script or was it because of... The emotion the you showed. I think that I think it was because of the. I don't. You know what? I don't know what happened now that I think about it because um, I don't know if she knew she saw me crying. I don't know what happened. I don't know why she was. She felt compelled to. I think it was after the poem. I think she was moved by the poem mm -hmm. and the emotion behind the poem that she wanted to support me as a writer. You know what I mean? And so she, <laughs> so she, so she was like, yeah. Um, so she gave me the grant, and I knew. I won't say that after that I was like, woo, this is, I'm on my path because I took the grant and that night I was in the tub crying like, what did I do? <laughs> I just quit my job. So even though 
it, it's like you can get a confirmation and in that moment the confirmation don't seem so big but in hindsight i could look back and say that was your confirmation that everything was gonna be okay there you go um but at the time it didn't feel like it. learn to yeah. trust God and to trust the process. There would yeah. be so many more successful entrepreneurs, so many more successful people out there. Yeah. That was your test. But within minutes, within yeah. minutes of you passing that test, of choosing passion, choosing mm -hmm. your purpose over a paycheck, you got affirmation, you got validation. You yeah. got what most people are looking for. Am I on the right path? And you got it within minutes. If people just trust the process, they will be all right. But great story so far. Go ahead. So where are you going to go now? <laughs> okay. You're home. You get the, the, the $5,000 right? grant, right? Yeah, so I get the $5,000 grant. And you know that money goes away very fast. Very because quickly. You don't have a job anymore. Yeah, I don't have a job. So and I, you I hate quit, so I'm assuming you're not even getting um, unemployment. Yeah, exactly. I'm not even getting unemployment. So it was, the money was gone within like three months. It was gone, right? And so at that time, um, I had to figure out what was my next move. Um, the, sh the shade room came about because I, you know, had spent a lot of my time consuming media and like, I just would talk to my friends and, you know, kind of, give them the rundown of what was going on. I was like their new source, right? And so they were like, well, girl, you know, because mind you, they're all in grad school. So mm -hmm. they're, they're climbing up the ranks, and here I am, I'm unemployed, I'm at home, and not for nothing, a script takes years to create. And to ever rely on a script financially is the most foolish thing ever, right? Because it takes years. You never know if it's going to get financed or not. You don't know. I mean, there's so many ups and downs when it comes to the script. It ended up coming out in 2018, but... Um, you know, it, exactly. It came out in 2018 and I started the shade room in 2014. So that's four years later. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.